Hey there YouTubers and welcome to my channel. I'm glad you're a subscriber. Thank you very much. I uh, just wanted to talk a little bit more, more about my gar fishing lure, the rope lure. I'm going to show another video of how I make that and talk about it a little bit. I'm also going to show you my device I've created that helps me get the fish off the hook once he's in the boat. Um, something that you can hang off your boat, stays in the water. Uh, the fish goes in it. When you when you're ready to take them off there, you just pick them up out of the water. Uh, you can trim the lure out of his mouth. You don't have to worry about the fish flopping around or getting loose. Now, this is a fish that has a lot of teeth. Uh, first thing we're going to talk about is the lure that I use. This one is a pretty inexpensive one. I bought this one at uh, Sportsman's Warehouse, I believe. It's a half ounce uh, spinning lure. The, the important thing to, to uh, note about this lure, any of these will work. Uh, we're going to take the skirt off. Um, the important thing to know about this lure is the uh, the connection right there, right where the uh, the eyelet is, because what we're going to do, if my cat will let me have it, is use a steel leader. This one is an 18 inch steel leader, 20 pound test. So this connection on the end of the steel leader will actually connect here. We'll have a good solid connection. If you get one of the um, one of the lures that doesn't have this connection on it, what will happen is your, your leader will slide up and down on here and it can cause it to be fouled and it causes a lot of problems. So anyway, I'm going to show you another video how I put these together and uh, my little invention for taking the, uh, the uh, fish off the hook. It's called the Garminator, my wife named that. And it works pretty well actually. Uh, it saved me a lot of trouble and hassle. And it was actually the invention of a create. <laughs> it was a creation out of a necessity. I, uh, I uh, actually had an occasion to drop a fish in the boat and I wasn't wearing shoes and the gar have lots and lots of teeth. So he fell in the boat and I jumped over the seat and almost wife knocked the wife out of the boat. So uh, she said, you've got to come up with something to uh, to use to keep those keep those gar from uh, getting loose in the boat. So I created this little thing. It works pretty well. So let me know what you think. Uh, please like my channel, subscribe if you haven't, and uh, thanks a lot. Some of the basic things we're going to need to create this are the lure itself, which we will be removing this skirt. We'll remove the skirt and then we'll have something that looks like this. Skirt removed. Okay. So once the skirt's removed, we're going to take some of our rope and this is twisted nylon rope. Very important. You get the twisted and not the braided kind. We're going to need a pair of scissors and we're going to need a nice lighter to uh, melt the ends. So what you do, take this and you tie yourself a knot. Just give yourself four inches, three, four inches on the end, tie the knot. And then you take your scissors, you cut it off just above the knot. It's like so. We can do away with this and the scissors. Then we're going to take our lighter and we're going to heat this. Okay. All right, once we've heated that, we want to unfurl it. Just untwist that. It's all untwisted. Okay, once we're here, we can untwist this a little further. Untwist each individual strand. What this is going to do, it's going to form a floss. And that floss, very fine hair like that, actually gets trapped inside the gar's teeth. When the gar uh, bite, their teeth are very much like um, needles. And it will get caught in the gar's teeth. And the gar cannot let go. A little static electricity today. <clears throat> so we untwist all those. should look like this when you're finished. Alright, 
Now the knot, and the reason we melted that so it wouldn't come, come loose, we want to take the knot and we want to hook it on the hook just inside like that, where the hook just comes right to the tip of that, where the hook is just barely sticking out. The barb is in there though, so there's no way this is not going to come off there if the hook fish uh, attacks it. It's not going to come off. So <clears throat> that is it. That's the entire lure. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking this probably looks like a piece of PVC pipe. And you would be right. That's exactly what this is. This is a piece of PVC pipe. It's six inch PVC pipe. Um, schedule 40, I believe, is what it is. But it's about a two foot section of pipe. Bought it at Lowe's. And on the front, you'll see I've got a what would go in your yard as a drain stop. Uh, covers your drain, keeps the leaves and other things like that from going down into it. I use that. It, it works perfect for this application. Um, what I did was first I drilled a bunch of holes in the bottom. This allows when I pick it up out of the water for all the water to drain from the bottom, no problem. On the other side, I cut, took a Dremel tool and I cut a gap in the entire uh, pipe and I opened it up. I probably cut maybe three quarters of an inch out and it closed itself back to this point. Um, but I do have a gap. It's probably a half inch gap in there and at the very end you can see I made a groove, a V groove. So when I'm fishing with the lure and I've got the fish on the hook, I can get the fish's mouth in here I've got the seal leader and I pull the fish through this and he actually comes out, I've grooved this and the fish comes out and his nose actually comes out this end. So I'll have the end of the fish's nose sticking out about this far with this lure in his mouth. At that point, I have my little handle. I can pick it up out of the water and I can sit it in the boat and I can take care of the fish. His tail will be hanging out, you know, the back end of the, the, uh, the tube here, and, but he won't be able to flop out. He won't be in my boat, more importantly. I use two swim noodles that I attach with zip ties. This whole thing is zip tied together, just uh, in a few strategic places to hold everything together. But the zip tied swim noodles actually allow this thing to just sit right at water level. So it's just barely above the surface. So the fish will swim right in, no problem. I have some photos of fish that are actually captured and in this thing that I'll uh, put at the end of this video. So good luck with yours. If you have any other ideas, have any improvement ideas, uh, please let me know. I'd love to see what you can come up with. Uh, thanks again for subscribing to my channel and enjoy. Please share me on Facebook. Thanks a lot.